Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. Have you ever wondered what is causing your Revit file size to be so big? Well, there's a good chance that's because of the families you have loaded and used in your model. This is why one of the most effective ways to reduce the Revit model's file size is to find and clean up or delete the most heavy Revit families that you have in the project. Let's see today the quickest way to do this. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. I have here this example Revit model and this folder with all the families that I have exported from it. After doing this, it's super easy for me to go into here and see the details of these families. I can then sort the list by file size and this will quickly show me the most heavy families that I need to take a look at to maybe clean them up or even remove them entirely from the model. Anyway, to produce this folder with all the families, there are two options for us. Firstly, you can do it manually by going down to here, select families, pick a category of choice, maybe I can do a door there. And let's say I want to find out the file size of this door family, entrance door. I can simply right click on the family name like this and choose save. This will then prompt me to select a location to save this family to. If I now go to Revit and just make a quick folder here, new folder, that's fine, and save it. When I go to Revit again, go up here, go to new folder, and the file size is there, just under half a megabyte. So if I do this for all the families in the project, I can then save them to the same folder and compare them in the same way I did for this other set of families here. Anyway, with a big project where you have hundreds, if not thousands of families in use, this manual task will take a lot of time, which is why we should instead use the second method. To apply this method, simply go back to the model, choose File, Save As, Library, and then click on Family. Again, it's going to ask us where we want to save the families to. I can simply go back to here, make a new folder for this. How about families 3? Open a new folder now. And make sure in here you have RFA as the option and all families selected down here. Of course, you can select just one family to save out, but I would do the same thing we just did manually with the entrance door family anyway, so there's not much sense doing it here. Make sure all families is there and you'll be good to click on save. After you've done this, the Revit window will keep flashing as you can see there on the status bar. That is because it is now going through all the families in use and loaded into our model and save each one out to that folder. I can even go up to this folder here and choose the new folder we created. As you can see, it is now slowly getting filled up with the family we are saving out from this model there. This operation may take a bit of time depending on the size of your model, but in my experience it's quite stable, so if you leave it running for long enough, eventually all your families will be exported to here. Keep in mind though, sometimes a few families can raise some errors or warnings. In that case, you need to be around to dismiss the warning just so the process can complete, saving that family and then move on to the next. Here we go, this is one of them. It's a warning to do with light source inside one of the families there. Usually warnings are safe to ignore and dismiss anyway. It's a bit more critical if it says here error, but normally that shouldn't happen. That means for now, we can safely click on OK. And because we've done that, it has now moved on to saving out the rest of the families in this project to this folder here. OK, that is now complete because the model is no longer flashing. When I go back to the output folder here, these are all the families that it has automatically exported for me. Super easy now for me to click on size and sort this list by file size. And just like before, we can now see the most heavy families that we need to clean up. So let's say I want to clean up this one. 
I can then click it again to get the name. Copy that name there. Go back to Revit. Right click anywhere on this family tree and choose search. I can now paste the copy text in and click next to search for it. Here we go. That's highlighted for me. I can now click on this family name, right click, choose edit. And in here, in the family editor, you are free to do anything you can to make this family lighter and clean. Usually, most of the time, that only means you need to go to manage, choose purge and used. This will then show you anything is redundant or not in use in the family. In this case, we have 10 items there. You can then select OK to clean them up. Anyway, that's all done because these objects that we cleaned up, they could be using other nested objects in this same family or even some materials that are now no longer in use by anything else. That means when you do purge and used, you need to do at least three times. So let's do it one more time now. As you can see, because we cleaned up some of the components in this family, we have now six different materials that previously were in use, but not any longer. That means I can now safely click OK to delete them. And of course, as I said before, we need to do one more time. Purge and use again. This time is fine because there's no any other unused object to be removed. But sometimes the materials you cleaned up in the purge and use number two may be using other references. In that case, they will show up here as things to be removed. Anyway, for now, that's good to go. So we can do OK again. And then load this family back into the project. So that's how you can clean up the family to reduce the Revit model's file size. Anyway, if I look back into the output folder now, I can see that I have in this model 83 families to do this push unused operation on. For one person, that is myself, that might take a bit of time. But for a big project, this would be a very manual and laborious task. So you can choose to either do it manually or use some Revit plugin to do the cleanup automatically for you. A good one to use is called RV Family Purge. And you guessed it, we created this plugin ourselves. If I now go to Edit, under RV Boost, we have RV Family Purge. If you haven't got this plugin installed, simply go down to this video description and use the link there to get your free copy. Let's open it. So, very quickly, you will see that in here, RV Family Purge has listed all the families loaded and in use in your model. These are grouped by category, and the names are also there as well. So, as I want to do the purge and use operation on all of those families, I can simply go down here, click on Select All, choose to either dismiss just the warnings or also the errors during the cleaning process, and then click on Purge Unused. So what's happening is, this plugin will open each family, do purge and use three times, repeat the same thing for any nested components inside each family, and then load each component or family up the chain until they are all loaded back into the project. With this plugin or something similar, you can really cut down the time spent cleaning up families like this and quickly make your Revit model light and much more responsive again. Okay, so the process has completed. As the plugin suggests there, I now can go to Purge Unused and do the same thing of purging three times on this project. So one, two, and three. I now have a clean project where all the loaded families have been deeply cleaned, which will help greatly bring down the file size of my model. So, if you want to try RV Family Perch completely for free, simply go to this video description below and follow the link there to get your free copy. For now, enjoy mastering Revit with RV Boost, and I'll see you in the next lesson.